Imagine a camera so small, it fits in the palm of your hand, but powerful enough to shoot professional grade photos and cinematic video. Sounds too good to be true? That's exactly what's being whispered about Sigma's rumored new camera, the FPQ. It's not official yet, but the leaks are heating up, and if they're right, this tiny full-frame mirrorless camera could shake up the industry. We're talking ultra-high resolution, next-gen, sensor tech, and serious video capabilities, all in a body you could toss in your backpack. So, is the Sigma FPQ real? And if it is, what makes it so special? In this video, we're diving deep into everything we've heard so far. What the FPQ could offer, how it builds on Sigma's game-changing FP series, and why it might become one of the most talked-about cameras of the year. Whether you're into photography, filmmaking, or both, this is one rumor you'll want to pay attention to. To understand where the FPQ fits in, let's rewind for a moment. Sigma's FP series has always been about disrupting convention. The original Sigma FP was launched as the world's smallest and lightest full-frame mirrorless camera, designed with modularity and mobility in mind. It offered raw video, excellent image quality, and a minimalist design that made it an instant favorite for run-and-gun filmmakers and travel photographers. Then came the Sigma FPL, which upped the ante with a 61 megapixel sensor, catering to those who needed extreme resolution without sacrificing the small footprint. Now, all eyes are on the next evolution, the FPQ. So what exactly is the Sigma FPQ, and why is there so much excitement? First, it's important to note that nothing has been confirmed yet. Sigma has not officially announced this model, but several credible sources in the photography industry have hinted at its development, and the leaks paint a compelling picture. The Q in FPQ is widely speculated to stand for Quad Bear, referring to a newer sensor architecture that could provide the best of both worlds, ultra-high resolution and dramatically improved low-light performance. How does that work? A quad Bayer sensor groups four pixels under a single color filter, which allows for pixel binning, essentially combining data from multiple pixels to reduce noise in dark environments. This means the FPQ might be capable of producing images that are both extremely sharp in good light and surprisingly clean in low light, addressing a long-standing trade-off in high-resolution sensors. Rumors suggest the FPQ could feature a resolution between 60 and 80 megapixels, a notable jump that could appeal to landscape, fashion, and commercial photographers who crave detail. Yet thanks to the quad Bayer structure, this sensor could remain highly usable in difficult lighting conditions, a dream scenario for many hybrid shooters. On the video front, the FPQ is rumored to go even further than its predecessors. It offered raw video, excellent. Think 6K or even 8K recording, 12-bit raw video output via USB-C or HDMI, and support for professional codecs like ProRes RAW or Blackmagic RAW. Combined with improved heat management and longer record times, this would elevate the FPQ from a compact camera to a serious tool for high-end cinematic production. What's more, the FPQ is expected to carry on Sigma's design philosophy, minimalist, modular, and highly customizable. No unnecessary buttons or bulky grips, but possibly refinements like better touchscreen controls, enhanced weather sealing, and faster USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 data transfer. And of course, it would remain part of the L-Mount Alliance, offering compatibility with a wide range of Leica, Panasonic, and Sigma lenses. If even half of these rumors are true, the Sigma FPQ could be a landmark release. A full-frame mirrorless camera small enough to mount on a drone, yet powerful enough for feature film production. Lightweight and compact for travel, but packing the sensor chops to rival medium format detail. In a market where creators demand more versatility than ever, the FPQ might not just be another camera. It could be a sign of where the future is headed. Stay tuned. Get ready, Fujifilm fans. The long-awaited X-E5 is officially on the horizon. Fujifilm has just dropped a teaser video confirming that the stylish rangefinder-style camera will make its full debut on June 12, 2025. While the teaser offers only a fleeting glimpse of the camera's design, it's enough to stir excitement. And the leaks have already filled in some key details. Let's talk about details. According to trusted sources, the Fujifilm X-E5 is rumored to feature a 40.2 megapixel APS-C X-Trans CMOS 5 sensor, the highest resolution ever seen in this series. Paired with the X-Processor 5, this backside illuminated sensor promises exceptional image quality, finer details, and enhanced low-light performance. For context, the X-E4 had a 26.1 megapixel sensor, which was already impressive. 
the jump to 40.2 megapixels represents nearly a 50% increase in resolution. Imagine the level of detail this upgrade could deliver for landscape, portrait, and street photography. Adding to the excitement, the XE5 may also support 16-bit RAW recording, a feature typically reserved for high-end cameras. This could give photographers unprecedented color depth and smoother gradations. And here's a big bonus. Fujifilm is rumored to integrate the Hasselblad natural color solution into the XE5. Combining Fujifilm's iconic colors with Hasselblad's renowned color science could elevate your photos to new artistic heights. Autofocus is critical for any photographer, and the XE5 is rumored to take it to the next level. It may feature a hybrid autofocus system with 294 autofocus points, covering nearly the entire frame. This is a massive improvement over the XE4's 117 points. Additionally, the XE5 is expected to include advanced subject detection autofocus, capable of tracking people, animals, and even objects. This would make the XE5 a versatile tool for wildlife, sports, and street photography, ensuring sharp focus even in challenging conditions. One major drawback of the XE4 was its lack of in-body image stabilization. The XE5 is rumored to change that with 5-axis IBIS, offering up to 7 stops of stabilization. This means you could shoot handheld in low light without worrying about blur. For action enthusiasts, the XE5 might support continuous shooting speeds of up to 20 frames per second with an electronic shutter and 15 frames per second with a mechanical shutter. Compared to the XE4's 8 frames per second, this upgrade makes the XE5 a potential powerhouse for sports and wildlife photography. Video capabilities, a filmmaker's delight. The XE series isn't just about still photography, it's a strong contender in the video world too. The XE5 is rumored to support 4K recording at 60 frames per second and Full HD 1080p at 240 frames per second for slow motion. Videographers will appreciate the addition of F-Log recording, providing a wider dynamic range for better post-production flexibility. Plus, Fujifilm's legendary film simulation modes will likely make a return, allowing for cinematic visuals straight out of the camera. The X-E5 is expected to retain the classic rangefinder aesthetic Fujifilm fans love while improving durability with a weather-resistant magnesium alloy body. This upgrade addresses one of the X-E4's shortcomings, making the X-E5 a more rugged travel companion. Although slightly heavier at 450 grams compared to the X-E4's 364 grams, the added weight seems worth it for the enhanced build quality and features. The XE5 will likely include modern connectivity options like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, along with a USB-C port for fast charging and data transfer. An HDMI port for external monitors is also expected, making it a versatile tool for creators. One standout improvement is the rumored addition of dual SD card slots compatible with UHS-2 cards. This feature will provide more storage flexibility and faster read-write speeds a significant upgrade for professional use. As for pricing, it might fall in the $1,000 to $1,200 range, a reasonable increase from the XE4's $850, considering all the upgrades. With its rumored features, the Fujifilm XE5 is shaping up to be a game-changer in the mid-tier, mirrorless camera market. From a high-resolution sensor enhanced by the Hasselblad natural color solution to advanced autofocus, stabilization, and video capabilities, this camera could cater to photographers and videographers alike. Would you invest in the XE5 for your next upgrade? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. See you in the next video.